What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. As always, we are back We're working on LS E36. So I've got a few hours, I think, before the sun goes down and it gets dark. So we're going to smash out the rear end. I'm going to rip out the diff that I chucked in when I did all the reinforcements. Uh, I need to rip the back off it and have a look inside. I brought it second hand pre-welded. Um, I don't know the history of the diff. I don't know who welded it. I don't know how they welded it. So I'm going to pull a lot apart. Uh, look inside of it, see how it's welded, and if I need to kind of fix it, I will. Uh, put new fluid in it, that's got to go back in. My brand new tail shaft that I got made uh, is going in, and then I can chuck axles in as well. So, we're going to get make a start right now by jacking the car up and start ripping the diff out. Get myself a screwdriver. Don't know how I'm gonna go one handed, but I need to get in here somewhere. This is first hand, guys. Ooh. Yes. Well, that's not too bad. Might. It's not too bad, guys. Might just chuck a plate in there, heat it up, weld it in on both sides. Spit that around. Yeah, it's about the same. Yep, sweet. I'll drain it out, clean it, and chuck a plate in there, weld around it, and that will be stronger than ever. Alrighty, so the welds in the dip aren't too bad at all. Uh, I'm pretty happy just to run it if I had to, but for the sake of this video, and because I'm a little OCD and like things being done my way, uh, went ahead and bent up a couple of plates for inside the dip. So I think these are 40 mil by 28 mil by four mil thick. And you can see I put a slight curve into them just to contour with the same shape as the gears and I also went down brought some degreaser uh, we're going out right now and we're going to scrub up the diff make it super clean inside make sure there's no oil left in there at all so we get some good uh, welds in there good penetration and not a holly but just crap bubbling through the weld so I'm going to go do that I've already drained the oil uh, so yeah clean it then we're going to weld these in Alrighty, so got that plate sitting down in there all nicely. So what we want to do is weld right around that plate. Uh, I've heated it up. I need a lot of heat to penetrate hardened steel. So heating it up and then burning it on the high setting my MIG will go to. And that will just melt straight into this stuff. I welded one of these discs before doing it this way and it works perfectly. So I've got both sides welded up. Let's see. Nice good penetration, a little bit of splatter, but that doesn't matter. What I'm going to do right now is take the diff back outside, degrease it again, wash it out, try and get as much of the, like, the splatter and all that crap that comes off the weld out, and then bring it back in, let it dry out probably overnight, and then I'll chuck the back cover on, new oil, and this diff would be sick to chuck in and do skids. 
All right, so diff is in. I haven't put any oil in it just because the silicon is still wet and it needs at least 24 hours to dry. But right now we can chuck the new drive shaft in. So this is it, uh, made by these guys, JG Drive Lines. It's basically three inch tubing, uh, 13, 10 unis, front and rear, and a custom rear flange. So they custom machine these up a lot bigger, beefier just to hold the power of the LS uh, and for any future activities I have. So I'm gonna quickly chuck that in right now and um, I'll probably do axles another night because it's getting a bit late right now and I'm hungry and I'm going to have some food. So I gave these axles a quick clean up, all these splines, cleaned them right up, all the threads. Then I'm gonna quickly chuck on some never sees. Uh, I've experienced firsthand when these corrode and you don't put anything on them, how hard they are to get out, especially when you're like track side, you snap one, you need to get it out quickly and put a new one in. You don't want to be beating on this for like half an hour trying to get it out. So a little bit of never sees. It doesn't affect anything, but it makes them 10 times easier to get out. Um, they don't corrode and everything. So never sees and I'm going to chuck them into the car. Alrighty guys, that is it for this video. Uh, pretty excited. I got everything that I needed to do done in this video. Tail shafts in, diffs in, axles are in, fluid is in the diff and the gearbox. That's all done. We're ready to go. If you like this video, please like it. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and then go follow me on Instagram. Uh, I don't post that much, but I do uh, upload to my story every now and then. Just all the behind the scenes stuff that I do in between the videos. Um, so if you want to see that more on the build and what I don't show in the video, definitely go follow me and you'll be able to see all that sort of stuff. Alright, cheers guys. Peace.